EPA and VA Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for April 9th, 2021. For your Friday, we're going to start off with a lot of clouds today. And this is something different from what we've had over the last couple of days where we just had fantastic weather. Fantastic weather and fantastic temperatures. Today we have a couple things going on. Uh, we have an onshore flow and marine flow that's going to keep temperatures in check. So we're not going to be probably about 10 degrees cooler than we saw yesterday. But that still technically is above average, slightly above average for this time of year. Uh, barely so, but it is. And we're going to be in this 60 to 64 degree range area wide. Okay, so we have a little bit of shower activity moving toward the region. Uh, this will be running into dry air because there's a, there's high pressure sitting over the northeastern United States. So we have antecedent uh, dry air in place before this comes in. So this is going to struggle, uh, I think, to reach the ground. And uh, the global models, the short range models are, are suggesting that there will be some shower activity. We do have a stray shower chance in the forecast today for a few areas that are able to where the moisture moisture is able to break through that dry air and reach the ground. But if you're going to get something, it's going to be very very light and spotty. Okay, uh, so this is today. This is actually during the course of today, and then it moves through. You see, there's a lot of activity here shown here on the uh, European model for today. As we get over to the NAM, here is that uh, initial wave coming at us, and again, uh, western areas, southwestern areas will have the best chance to see something reaching the ground and then, then this kind of just falls apart and you just have spotty stuff going into the morning and when i started this uh, image here this was actually at 7 a.m so these moves over it by the time you get to about noon or so you got a, just a few spotty showers here and there and now it is going to be cloudy or mostly cloudy today otherwise and then same thing goes into uh this evening too i mean you got the same same idea here a few spotty showers popping up here and there uh may not even be reaching the ground we did allow for that to happen, so if it does, uh, you can't say it wasn't expected. But overnight here, we have a few spotty showers again in the far southeastern areas. As we get into Saturday, though, nothing. Nothing the whole day. So we are just mostly cloudy here on Saturday, and I couldn't uh, use the same image for both days. I really don't. I'm not buying this uh the shower activity today in large part i mean we will have a stray shower somewhere somebody's going to get a shower uh but i do think tomorrow we're not going to have that so we have mostly cloudy skies and a little bit warmer though it's going to be 67 to 72 across the region from north to south so a little bit a little bit milder uh compared to today and then uh once we get to sunday uh, by the way, the European model does have a dry here on Saturday too, except for far south, eastern, and southeastern areas. Very uh, late in the overnight, has a, has a few showers there too. But Saturday is dry on the European model. Then it has this rain coming in uh, after midnight on Saturday night, going into Sunday morning. That's not a where, where the models diverge because this is at this point where they go in two different directions. Okay, now this is the European model showing it going into. Uh, in the morning which is the same thing i'm going to show you on the nam it's after that point what does it do shows a little bit of a break and then it has another wave come through later in the afternoon where we have more showers come in and periods of rain and then this kind of hangs around through sunday night and clears out on monday okay uh the nam however as i move this forward this is the this is the high res version has that same swath of moisture coming at us really not as organized and it's a little bit more scattered so this is looking at uh this is at its max range and uh this goes all the way up until uh eight o'clock in the morning on sunday so you do have the showers in the morning that's not the issue the issue is what does it does after that point to do that we have to go to the 12 kilometer ver version of the nam which goes a little bit longer and it does the same thing showers into sunday morning right as you can see here and then it ends about mid-morning or thereabout. And then after that point, nothing. Spotty shower at best, and that's it. So that's a far cry. This is all it has, and this is a simulated radar. And it has very, very little activity here later in the day on Sunday. So if you had something playing on Sunday in the afternoon, you're like, ah, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bag it because it doesn't look like it's going to be that great. Uh, hold off on that. Uh, that could be. I want to see what the trends are over the next 24 hours, and I'll update this again in the next video that we do, but the NAM is not thrilled with anything going on beyond the early morning hours aren't here on Sunday. So this, you know, I've been saying this all week. We've been looking at these systems come at, come at us uh, from 
you know, arm's length several days in advance, and it looks like, wow, we're going to have a decent amount of rain. And I see your comments uh, that we need the rain. We do. Uh, this is April. This is what we need if we're planting right now. We need um, things to, to things to grow. Um, people are seeding grass, things like that. There's a lot of different things. You don't have to use artificial, uh, you know, out of your hose to, uh, to water your plants and things like that if you have nature cooperate, and it just has not been doing that. And we look at these uh, systems coming at us from several days in advance. It looks like, well, we're going to have a decent amount of rain here. And then these kind of dry out as we get closer. Now, and it's not an all-model guidance. It's not, I'm not saying the European model is wrong here. Because uh, the GFS, to some extent, disagrees with an AM2. It's more in the European camp here. But there's a possibility that this could just turn into very little. When you get something in uh, you know, Saturday night into Sunday morning, that's not in disagreement. It's after that point. What do we get after that point? And then once you get into Monday, European model has it dry completely, all right? And then uh, set on uh, Tuesday has just a couple showers here with the system moving off to our north. And uh, we have an in-between day here on Wednesday where it's partly cloudy. And then we have another little weak wave coming through here for uh, Wednesday night and Thursday. So there's a lot going on here. A lot of different systems in the vicinity. Uh, but there's nothing really that organized where it's going to be a plentiful amount of, of moisture. We're going to have some chances. Our best chance is probably going to be Saturday night to Sunday morning. Aside from that, it's going to be kind of hit or miss, isolated, spotty, very widely scattered kind of thing, and not the entire time, certainly. All right, And they're going to have temperatures uh, generally in the 60s uh, that we're dealing with going forward. Uh, we're going to have a couple of warm days. I'm going to take another nosedive here. Um, well, let's see, this is, uh, as we get into the early part of next week, we'll have a, on Monday, we'll have a little bit of a cooler day, uh, if you will. Uh, but then, you know, cooler as in back down to the 60 to 64 range. Okay, so that's where we're back down in here. So it's really not going to be no cold weather coming up. It's a little bit of ups and downs in temperatures, but uh, we have to monitor these uh, systems here because I really don't trust that any of this uh, is correct because we're dealing with some upper-level lows. And whenever you're dealing with an upper-level low, the models kind of go a little crazy with them and don't know how to handle it with the surface reflections. And then they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that's why this is important to continue to watch these every day so we give you an update. And we'll give you the latest information we have it. And again, I want to watch Sunday here. Uh, if you have something scheduled for Sunday afternoon, don't bag them just yet. Don't just bag those plants just yet because I, I just don't know if that's going to be correct just because the NAM has not been thrilled to have about anything other than the morning, except for maybe a spotty shower in the afternoon, which wouldn't be a big deal in a few spots. So we'll see. We'll see how that uh, evolves in the next couple of days, and I'll let you know what the latest changes are in the next video for the weekend. I'm BPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 9th, 2021. Have a great Friday.